Hey, welcome back to the Infinite Woman Universe show. I'm your host, Angela, and today I am going to be sharing with you how to really push the needle forward in your business that actually works for you. So if you've been struggling with showing up consistently or focusing on money generating um, tasks, then make sure you stay tuned because I'm going to share with you how to make sure it works for you. Hi, I'm Angela, trauma healer and self-sabotage slayer. I help solo line service providers and trauma coaches slay self-sabotage so they can embody freedom, live on their terms, and do business their way. And you might be thinking, how does um, pushing the needle forward have anything to do with self-sabotage? Well, actually, a lot. If you are not doing the things that excite you, if you are not doing the things that are going to make you money, then eventually you're going to sabotage your business. It's just not going to matter how much you maybe love it or you think that you love it. If you are not doing things based on your energy and what's exciting for you and what is also going to help you um, generate money, then you will eventually um, sabotage your business. It's inevitable. And you might do it in some way, shape or form, you know, like by not showing up, um, not showing up as the full version of you, authentically you. Um, you might run back to old people that were toxic that you've left. You might um, resort back to old habits and coping mechanisms, things like that. It could be anything, right? Self-sabotage looks very different for every person. But what I'm going to talk to you about is more focused on pushing your business forward in a way that really feels good for you. The reason why I talk about the way that really feels good for you, because there are certain things that don't really work for other people. There is no one size fits all, no matter what anybody wants to tell you around um, running a business. And so one of the most important things that you want to do is make sure or be aware of any rules that you have created within your business that are actually keeping you stuck in a box, that are keeping you from moving forward, that are keeping you from doing things that you truly want to do. And if you really struggle with um, rules in your business that are truly unserving to you, make sure that you check out my masterclass, Burn the Rules to the Ground. It is all about unleashing and letting go of what's blocking you so that you can run business the way that you truly desire. So I'll leave that linked for you in the description. So make sure you check that out. But you want to be aware of any rules that you have created around your business that are keeping you trapped. And the reason why you want to do this is because it will allow you to see what's been keeping you from being all of you, what's been keeping you from doing what excites you. It will it will help you see how you have really been keeping yourself trapped and in, in this box when it's been completely unnecessary and so that will be one of the most important things that you do the next important thing that you do is to make sure that you are doing things that truly support who you are and your energy i I love to talk about this because i feel like it's super important okay i hate reels i like watching them okay i think they're i think they're entertaining okay i like watching them i don't like doing them okay i did reels I think at least three or four a week in my business for like, I want to say like three months. Okay. I was pretty consistent with it and it never got any easier for me. It never got like better. Right. Because uh, eventually what happens is when you go and take something on that's brand new, Eventually you like it. Eventually it feels good. Eventually you're like, yeah, I'm excited to do this. It was never like that for me, but yet I felt like I had to continue to show up and do these rules, even though they weren't really authentically me, um, even though I didn't really um, want to do them and I hated them, okay? And my energy just wasn't there for doing these rules. Plus I felt like I had to, which is connected to the rules, right? So I decided finally, 
that I was done doing reels because it wasn't right for me. It wasn't aligned for me. It never felt good. I never really liked doing them. So I stopped doing them. And my energy towards Instagram completely changed after that. There was also a point in time in this last year that I totally ditched social media altogether and went in to just do like virtual networking and networking in person. And it totally expanded and grew my um, business astronomically. So you, you got to decide what is in your energy, what feels good for you. If showing up and doing reels is not your jam, don't force yourself to do them. You have to decide what's going to work for you. If going live once a week in your Facebook group, you love that, then continue to do that. That's going to build you momentum. That is going to be a money generating a money generating task. Okay, you want to make sure that you are doing things that fit your energy. One of the most important things or one of the things that I love to do so much is doing challenges and that's not for everybody but it is because I am a generator if you don't know what human design is you can go and google it and get a free chart um but I am a generator so that means that you know I love to work and there are going to be periods where I will need to rest after the challenges and whatever the case may be but I know that I love the challenges and so that's what I do on a regular basis that generates money does that make sense it excites me i want to do it and you want to do the same thing around your programs and your services what are you doing that you truly that truly excites you that you truly want to do when you burn all these rules to the ground and you're doing what excites you what brings in momentum you are less likely to sabotage your business because you are absolutely in love with what it is that you're doing even the tasks that you may not really like to do you still do it because you were in love with your programs and your services you were in love with the way that you feel essentially and so you keep moving forward the next thing that you want to do is focus on what's going to generate you money the reason why we are focusing on this last is because if you force yourself into a box you're not going to make the money that you want because you feel trapped right your feelings are inevitable are important they are something that you must focus on if you are not doing things that are based on your energy, you're not going to generate income that you truly desire because your energy isn't there. Does all of that make sense? Okay, we've got to flow with feeling good. And if you struggle with alignment, make sure you check out this video here. It will help you come into alignment so that you are feeling good uh, before you do like your generating, your money generating tasks and things like that. So make sure you check that out. But you're, the last part of this is important because now you know what excites you. You know what you need to do to move your business forward. And so it needs to be focused on that. Okay. And there is a huge misconception that creating content is actually moving your business forward. And it's not. What is truly moving your business forward is building relationships. That means connecting to people um, through the DMs or going to virtual networking events or in-person networking events. People don't want to tell you this because it's not fucking sexy. And the thing is, is that the second you say connecting people with DMs, they automatically assume that you're going in to do like salesy pitches and things like that if you don't want to do that and you want to be like very upfront i own a business and i'm talking to you because i own a business and things like that then you want to actually be on linkedin and push the needle forward by connecting there because people know that you own a business people are there because that's what they're looking for specifically now I'm, again i'm not going to tell you what to do i want you to do what feels right and what's aligned for you but i want you to be aware okay that it's not necessarily going to be in your content that is going to be generating income even though everybody tries to tell you that it does those people that are generating money from posts have had an established have had an established audience that and they have something to sell consistently in that post does that make sense so if you are struggling right which i imagine that you are then there's nothing wrong with that is that you really want to make sure that you are focusing on what's moving the needle forward and moving the needle forward is building connections and doing something that is going to generate income that people get to know you on a deep level so that might be that you do go live maybe once twice 
twice, three times a week, depending on your energy in your group. Maybe that is that you do webinars and workshops or challenges. You have to decide that so that you can figure out what that's going to be. And that allows you to build these uh, relationships and build these no like and trust factors so that you can continue to bring money into your business so that you can keep moving forward based on what excites you. You have to decide what is going to be right for you and how you're going to keep pushing the needle forward. In my business, I do challenges and I connect with women on a regular basis in the DMs, just building those relationships and I attend virtual and in-person in person networking events, okay? And again, no one talks about this because this part is not sexy, it's helping you build the foundation of your business. And most people would rather teach you a system or how to create passive income because supposedly it's gonna make you thousands and thousands of dollars. Well, it's not going to if you don't have connections with people, it's just not gonna matter. So you want to make sure that you are really focused on what matters most to your business, but only you are truly going to be able to decide that based on your energy and what excites you. Once you have this down, you are less likely to sabotage your business and you will keep moving forward. Now, as like a warning, I guess you could say, I want you to know that this is going to be an experiment, right? Sometimes if what you're doing feels good for a few months and then it doesn't feel good anymore and then you want to change it up and that's okay. You're not sabotaging. You're just realizing that as you heal and as you grow more as a solo line service provider or trauma coach, your energy changes and there's nothing wrong with that. You just evolve and evolve and evolve. So just know that you are officially a mad scientist and this becomes a huge experiment. But know that just because um, it may not feel good at first, right? It's uncomfortable, it's out of your comfort zone, doesn't mean that it's not right for you. You want to give it a really good go before you decide, all right, I hate this. I don't wanna do this anymore, okay? And there's nothing wrong with doing things differently and there's nothing wrong with doing things that people aren't doing in their business. So just be aware of that. So since I have you, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Um, it just helps me grow the community. Let me know if you have questions below. Make sure you um, check out that Burn the Rules to the Ground Masterclass. The Masterclass will actually help you get into the Sisterhood, which is an exclusive and expansive community for you to grow your business and your net worth. So make sure you check that out and I will see you next week. Bye.